am not peeling them. I like them with this, the, the skin, uh, the peeling on. Oh, I can't, and you will understand. I cannot talk. welcome back and by the way I changed my channel name to Megan's story and today's video is uh, what's for dinner and it's a collab with my good friend Tony and she her channel is chaotic country so make sure you check her out after my video hey guys my name is Tony I am a mom to four we live in southern Kentucky we do homeschooling we do a little bit of homesteading and we just share our life here on YouTube uh, yeah, all things that entail motherhood and country living and all of the good. And yeah, we do lots of grocery hauls as well and just cooking content. So we, if you're interested in that, we would love to have you join our channel. So if you would like to join our family, we would love to have you. Thank you, Megan, for doing this collab with me. And yeah, hope to see you all back over there. Let's get back to Megan's video. And so... For today's what's for dinner, I am going to be making, I think, chicken. I'm making some sheet dinner. See, some sheet dinners? I'm gonna make one dinner. Anyway, I'm at Sam's right now, so I'll bring you in for that. I'm going to be making sheet, how do you say it? Sheet pan dinner. Sheet pan dinner. <laughs> so I need to run into Sam's and I'm going to pick up some potatoes and carrots and hopefully some chicken that I wanna get from here. Hopefully they have it didn't look like they had it online but and then a few other things that I need to get like milk and stuff like that but I will bring you along with us for that okay first of all I need to go find some laundry detergent I ordered some but I don't think it ever showed up at the house I once felt I'm done with the defense throw back and climb over your fence hide to show show you that Okay, so we're done. We got our chicken, potatoes, carrots. We got some milk, heavy whipping cream, and my soda. I think that's it. So now time to go check out. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. So we are back in the van and it is freezing cold. So we got potatoes, carrots, milk, heavy whipping cream, laundry detergent, soda, chicken. What else? What else did we get? That might be it. $75. Anyway, so yeah, gotta let my hands warm up and drive home and then show you what's for dinner. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up, get yeah, over the hillside. So right, we stood there all wide eyed. You and I floated on air in my mind. So we are back home now and I will go inside and show you everything that we got from Sam's. So now that we are back home, I will show you what we got from Sam's. So this was all about $75 and I had to run there for, so for the things I needed for the what's for dinner. So, and yes, I still have a little bit of Christmas decorations up. It's okay. So let me show you what I got. 
So for my what's for dinner, I needed to get potatoes. So of course these are from Sam, so there's 15 pounds. So there's a lot and they're gonna be huge. And I needed to get carrots also for today. Get two bags of chicken. So that was basically all I needed to get for the what's for dinner video for today. But then since we were there, of course you always need to get, you know, something else. So I got, we needed milk. We needed some more heavy whipping cream. So I got two of these. I love to use them in my coffee and I also love to make homemade whipped cream from it. And I could put a card up here if you wanna know how to we do that. It's really simple. And I always, I have a lot of salads and I love to put lettuce on tacos and you know, just a bunch of things. So I got some lettuce, two heads for 190, not bad. And I also ordered a bag of Arm & Hammer laundry pods and that was like, I don't know, like a week and a half to two weeks ago and I don't think that ever showed up. So I went ahead and bought some laundry detergent So I'm gonna see what that smells like. Mm, that's not bad, it smells pretty fresh. So yeah, that's all I got from Sam. So now I'm going to start on our what's for dinner. So what I'm going to be making is a sheet pan dinner. I make chicken on a sheet pan and then I'm gonna cut up carrots and cut up potatoes and probably put some oil on them and some garlic pepper, which I love. And then I'm also going to make some homemade bread. So we're gonna have some dinner bread. So you can just spread some butter on it and have it with dinner. So yeah, let's get cooking and show you what's for dinner. I also got me some soda. I think I showed you earlier, but I did not lift it up. So here we go. So yeah. So that's it, time to get cooking. Hi, so for our dinner, I am going to be making sheet pan dinners and it's gonna be chicken and the other one is going, to, I'm gonna cut up potatoes and carrots and put that in another sheet pan. But right now, it's still the afternoon, so I'm gonna make some homemade bread so that can rise. So I have flour, butter, Crisco to grease my pans, honey, salt, and yeast. So yeah. First, I'm going to melt a third of a cup of butter and a third of a cup of honey in my little pot. And then while that cools a little bit, I'm going to add two and a half cups of warm water to my, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid mixer, and then a tablespoon and a teaspoon of yeast. And then mix that around, and then I'm gonna add that. Mama, there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Obviously, if I had oil in this recipe, I would put that in first, and then the honey, and then the honey would come right out. But I don't have oil in this recipe, so. This is awkward over here, but anyway, so while I wait for my honey and butter to cool off a little bit, I am going to put two and a half cups of warm water into my KitchenAid mixer and then one tablespoon and one teaspoon of yeast and then mix it around a little bit. And now, yes, I still have Christmas decorations up. Get over it. So now I'm going to pour in my honey and butter mixture into the bowl I have that has water and yeast. And then I'm gonna mix it around a little bit. And then I will start gradually adding my seven cups, approximately seven cups of flour. Back, 
There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high So I ended up using approximately six and a half cups of flour and then I let the mixer knead it for several minutes and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be making three small loaves. These are just for dinner, you know, to put butter on it to have with dinner. So I'm going to just go roll it out and have it rise. So now first before I divide my dough, I'm going to grease my little pans with Crisco. Why you wanna let me go now? Change your mind for love or pity. Let me know not nah, now, cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? This one's a little bit bigger anyway. So what I'm going to do is just put them in the oven on warm for a while and until they're doubled in size approximately so I preheated my oven to 350 degrees after letting my loaves of bread warm in the oven for about an hour or so so I'm gonna bake them in there and it's gonna take approximately 30 minutes but I will let you know how long it takes they're getting bigger So now I'm just going to get out as many potatoes, I guess I figured out how many potatoes I want, but then I'm going to wash and scrub my potatoes and then I am not peeling them. I like them with this, the, the skin, the peeling on, oh, I can't, and you will understand, I cannot talk. Anyway, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to cut them up in little cubes and then, yeah, I'm going to start with that.
So now I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 and then see how long it takes to the desired crispiness of it. Anyway, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. That's my guess. Okay, so I'm basically gonna do the same thing. I have two big carrots. Not everybody in this house wants to have cooked carrots, so I'm just gonna make two. I already washed them, so I'm gonna cut them, put them in oil and put my garlic pepper on them and put them on my pan. So I'm just gonna throw these in the same oven with my potatoes and just keep checking on them, see how long they take. Thank you. Yep. Do I like you're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. Okay, so there you go. There's my sheet pan dinner. We have cubed potatoes and chicken and cooked carrots. Those were also sheet pan and the oven. But not everybody likes cooked carrots, so we also have cut up carrots and homemade bread. We're gonna put butter on it and have with our dinner. This was so much fun. Tony, thank you so much for this collab. And everybody, don't forget to go check out Tony at Chaotic Country. And yeah, thank you. Have a good day, bye. See ya.